All right, what's up everybody? I am Geek for Code coming at you with the C Sharp tutorial featuring beautiful code. Now I don't know about you, but I love to code and I love to learn. So let's go ahead and get started and hopefully we'll learn together. Now in today's video, we are going to continue our MVVM journey by creating the view. Now the view is what most of us are familiar with. It is the presentation of data. Now in this video, we aren't going to be worrying about wiring the thing up or setting any bindings. Today, all we're doing are just going to create the interface and what the interface actually looks like. Now a user interface in WPF is written in a language called XAML. Now XAML is a beast of a language all on its own. So let's go ahead and jump into our customer information application and let's try to tame this beast. So right now, uh, I am in the main window in the XAML for our customer information application. So you just have a blank screen. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is give this a title. So I'm gonna go ahead and say title. And the title that we're gonna give this is customer information. And then the next thing I want to do is I want this to start up in the center of the screen. So I'm going to say window startup center screen. The next thing I want to do is I want, I don't want my application to have the minimum and maximize button. I just want the close button. So to do that, I can go to resize mode and select no resize and so as you can see it takes away the minimum and maximum and I already have my height and width size my height is 450 and my width is 400 so right now um, so there are a bunch numerous ways where you can design this UI um, the way I decided to design this uh, this UI is I want three separate rows and the first row is going to have all of the labels and the text boxes that we are going to use for the fields that we have that we created in our model in our last video. Now the second row is going to be for the button that the user is going to press to submit their user information. And then the bottom half, the third row is going to be our status bar which our status bar is going to relay the information that the user types in. So let's go ahead in our grid. <clears throat> we are going to define the three rows in Solid Grid. To do that, we're going to do grid dot row definitions. And inside here, we're going to do row definition. We're going to give this a height of 300. The next row definition, we are going to give a height of 25. And the last row, we are going to give a height of, let's say, oh, messed up a little bit. Let me take that out. Now we're going to, our third row definition is going to be of height, let's say 125. So there are all three row definitions. Now, the way I have this planned out is I am going to use a main stack panel with the uh, orientation of vertical. So everything is going to be straight up and down. Um, and I'm going to, inside of this big stack panel, I'm going to make smaller stack panels and just have a label and a text box inside. So for that, at first, I'm going to say stack panel. Um, for me personally, um, what I like to do is I like to give everything a name. So this stack panel name is going to be called, actually, let's call it customer stack panel. Now the orientation is going to be vertical. I'm going to say, I want, it, I want to put it in the first row. So I'm going to say grid dot row and then zero now the next thing I want to do is a horizontal aligning I want to center it 
and the width of this text and the width of this text box I mean um, this stack panel I want to make it a little bit um, shorter um, than the actual width of the grid itself or the window itself so I want to say it's 390 now inside of here this is when I'm going to go ahead and start making the smaller stack panels for the labels and the text boxes so we are going to say stack panel and this stack panel the name of this stack panel is going to be first name stack panel we're going to give it an orientation of horizontal and we are going to put it in grid dot row zero and then we're going to give it a horizontal alignment of left now inside of here we are going to go ahead and say we're going to give it a label the label is going to be called um, let's go ahead and say first name label and this label the content is going to be first name there we go now as you can see we have um, a label right here uh, now let's go ahead and give this a text box and then this text box is going to be named let's go ahead and name this text box first name text box that's all we're going to do <clears throat> now you can see that a lot of this is not formatted correctly um, so we're going to go ahead we are going to go ahead and change this and the way you could go ahead and give um, label a width label a height um, you can set margins to everything but what I like to do is consolidate all the code into one space so with that we can go ahead and do a stack panel dot resource so we can do a stack panel oh I'm sorry I did a little mess up here I didn't want to so I need to go ahead and say stack panel right there I'm sorry folks a little mess up it's okay so inside of our main big stack panel we got everything in under control now let's go alright so stack panel dot resources and inside of our resources we're going to say style and then the style so the target type is the actual type that we want it's the it's the type that we want to set a style to so I want to set a style to label so we're going to head to do a style for label now in here we're going to say setter and the property is going to be the width of it and then the value Let's say the value is going to be 150. Now we're going to do another set of property for, let's do margin. And then in the margin, we want to do 0, 5, 0, 0. And um, just like I said in my last video, the margin values are left, top, right, and bottom. Um, for those values, that's what those individual values represent. So we're going to do another setter uh, property for font size. I want the font size to be a little bit bigger than what it actually is currently. So we're going to say it is 20. And there we go. As you can see over here, so every label inside of this main stack panel will get this style. So we don't have to individually put the width margin and font size on each individual label that we have which is pretty cool so the next thing I want to do is I want to give go ahead and give another style but this style is going to be text box so let's go ahead and give a style to the text box now the text box is going to get a setter property of width I'm going to say this value is let's say it's going to be let's say it's going to be 200 
and then I'm going to say another setter for let's say margin and the margin for the text box is going to be 0, 5, 0, 0. Now the last setter I want to do, I also want to do a font size um, for, uh, for this one as well. So property, I want to do font size. And then this font size is going to be 20 as well. So now, so now every label and text box that we have inside of this stack panel, inside this big stack panel, is going to be shaped and styled just like first name label and first name text box. So what we can do is we can take the first name text box and the first name stack panel and go ahead and copy and paste it. We can change the first to last. Come down here and change first to last. Go over here and change first to last and then go over here and change this to last. And we are going to go ahead and keep doing this for each individual property that we have that we made on our model. And I spelled misspelled last name. But that's okay. <clears throat> so the next thing that we have, let's see. The next stack panel that we are going to do is phone number. So we're going to say phone number. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste this in there. Make sure we put a space inside a phone number. There we go. Now the next thing that we next small stack panel that we have is going to be email. We're gonna go ahead and copy and paste email in here. There we go. So we have first name, last name, phone number, and email. Let's go ahead and keep going. Our next stack panel that we are going to create is for the city. So we are going to say city stack panel. Also want to mention that if you are copying and pasting like I am to make stuff easier, you definitely want to make sure that you change everything that you need to change. You want to make sure that everything is different from what you previously copied. Next thing, the last thing that we have is state. And see, I messed up, which is why you definitely need to make sure that um, you go ahead and check and maybe even double check the copy and paste that you are doing. All right, that sums up what we are going to do for the first name and um, the first name, last name, phone number, email, city, state label, and their corresponding text boxes. Now the last, now the next thing that we have to do is we have to come outside of here, this stack panel. The next thing we're going to do is create the button inside of the second row or the middle row. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say button. We're going to give the button a name and let's say show information button. Um, we are going to say this is in grid dot one. Uh, the row of this button is going to be in row one. Let's say the width of this button is going to be 100. Let's give it a horizontal alignment and we are going to do it center. The content of this button, let's let's say show information. And then lastly, we're going to give it a margin to center it with the text boxes themselves. So we're going to say 0, 10, 0, 0, 0. And there we have it. That is our button. Now the last thing that we need to input and to show on the UI is the status bar. So let's go ahead and say uh, status bar. We are going to give the status bar a name. 
let's go ahead and give it user information status bar it's a long name but I like to be specific when I name things we're going to say grid.row is going to be the last row so that's going to be two we're going to give it a margin of let's say zero five zero zero we're going to give it a height of let's say we want it to be 90 we want it to basically fill up this entire space at the bottom um, and what the last thing that we want to do is vertical alignment let's put it to the top and there we go there we have it so as you can see we have added a title and made it center screen we resized it so the resize mode is uh, no resize so nobody can minimize or maximize it we defined our grid um, row definitions we created a main stack panel we put in multiple stack panels for each individual property that we have in our model we created styles for the label in the text box to come um, to condense the code um, so you don't have uh, you don't have width margin and font size on each label and then width margin and font size on each text box you consolidate it to one small space we also added a button um, for the user to click on and then we added a status bar that will show the user information so next go ahead and say that so next what we are going to do is we are going to run this I am pressing F5 to run this in Visual Studio and what we will see is our application showed up in the middle of the monitor and now we have now we can go ahead and just um, tab through all of these and as you can see everything is there um, so that completes this UI that completes our simple UI of what the users will see when they open this application look at all this beautiful code that we have written together so now I want to thank everybody for watching for watching this video I'm hoping that everybody was able to look at this and their coding knowledge was able to be improved. Um, also, I want to say don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button. Um, also, if you notice something that I did that you like to do differently or something that you did not like um, that I did, go ahead and leave a comment and you know see if we can have a discussion about it. So again, I want to thank everybody for watching you know we we do these videos we watch these videos because we definitely want to expand our love of code and our expand our knowledge of code so thank you everybody